you think you'll ever take drugs? Probably. Will you do it out of curiosity or peer pressure or... Curiosity. Is there something in you that battles against peer pressure? Yeah. Okay, so here's how it goes. Okay, so my link leader said, you know, Jonathan, you should run for freshman senator. So I said, I think I'll give it a try. Has it gotten you any dates? Yes. I just had this with me, Miss Hannah Demerit. She's an orchestra with me, and she's really nice. I want to get through schooling, and I want to get a job, and I just kind of want to, I want to grow up so much. But... If you had a crystal ball, and wanted to know anything about your future, what would it be? Where I would be 20 years. You know, what kind of a, what kind of a job I would have or where I went to college or if I was married or had kids. I pulled my wallet out of my pocket, and broke my debit card in half and started slitting my wrists with my debit card. My parents called the police and I went to Harborview for a psychological evaluation. Along the way, I also picked up a drug addiction. The week after I got arrested for Assault 4, I decided to have a drug relapse and go to Central Market and steal a whole bunch of stuff and then get arrested for that. I had suicidal ideations and was cutting myself. And when my parents would go to bed at 10.30 at night, I'd get on the computer and talk until 2 or 3 in the morning and then do the whole same thing over and over and over and over again. Lie about going to a movie, go and hang out with somebody, have sex, come home. And it was so routine. The reason why I was in 5,000 Days is because I was normal, just normal kid. And then something happened. How many people did you have sex with? Um, 14 people over the course of the last six months. Men? I had nobody to talk to, and I thought that being gay meant meeting people and going out and having sex. And when people start deferring the blame of the problem of my issues to dishonesty and whatever else, you know, not going to school or drug usage. And I'm saying, no, that's not the problem for me. The problem for me is my sexuality. I hate the way I am. <laughs>